Hey you, yes, you. Does your desktop look like this instead of this? Then you need to learn how to declutter your digital life with Engadget. Hoarding isn't simply about not throwing crap away, it's also about forming a deep psychological attachment to the things you possess. Digital hoarding is pretty much the same. The only difference is that documentary crews won't be visiting your house to take a look at the local, uh, yeah. Digital hoarding isn't just about the cost of a new hard drive either, but the mental cost of simply having to deal with all that stuff. After all, do you really need to keep that folder of sassy gifts you saved back in 2013 and have never used even once in a Facebook status? It's a waste of time to keep it there, so get rid. The question is, how do you do that? Well, you gotta think about all the time and energy that you're spending scrolling past files and folders that you don't need and won't use. Those apps cluttering up your phone and computer that you tried once and haven't opened since? Dump them! Browser bookmarks showing you how to macrame your own pasta into a sculpture to show off at your next party? In the trash! How many of those sneaker marketing emails do you archive because it's too much trouble to unsubscribe? Some of the things are pretty easy to get rid of, as long as you think about it. But others are still there, because they could be useful in the future. <laughs> yeah, right. One of the things that digital decluttering does is ask you to take a really good, long, hard look at the sort of person you are. More importantly, you need to think about the sort of person you want to be. Because that person probably doesn't care about pasta sculptures and knockoff sneakers. In fact, stop holding on to shit just because you think you might need it in the future. This is the internet. You can replace it pretty fast if you actually need to. Plus, imagine how much lighter you'll feel when you don't have to be reminded of all the stuff you're hanging on to.